Hey guys, we are now going to hang and prep your items. We want your items to look amazing on the rack. So we're gonna show you how to best do that. So we wanna first pick a correct hanger for your item. So we really allow any hanger, as long as your clothes stay on the hanger. So we don't want your items on the floor because they're not gonna be seen. So we wanna make sure that we're picking stuff that's appropriate. So people always ask, do you allow wire hangers? Yes, we do. As long as the item stays on here, you're golden. Um, these plastic ones work great, but I will say that two of our favorite type hangers, number one is this, this turns, and this is great for like tank tops, those um, summer and spring dresses during our spring and summer sale, um, and anything just that's real strappy. So I would recommend these if you can get your hands on these. And then also these flocked, type, we call them sticky hangers. Um, these are great just because things don't slip off of them. So if you're willing to put your stuff on these, we'll take them. Um, the other thing that I want to definitely note is that our bottom hangers, any bottom, any strapless dress, um, shorts, activewear shorts, anything like that, um, needs to go on a bottom hanger with little clips. So we don't want to be using um, safety pins. We, you know, people are trying your stuff on and if there's any inconvenience, sometimes they'll pass it by on the rack. Not even kidding. So we want to make sure that they are clipped like this. If you guys don't have any of these hangers, you can actually get them. Sometimes there's an overabundance at um, Kohl's or Old Navy or even sometimes Target. Just ask if they have any hangers they're giving away. If they don't, um, we have these for rent at the sale that you can get at drop-off when you come to your drop-off appointment. All right, next thing is that we want to make sure that when we hang up our item, the hanger is literally like a question mark. And it's kind of facing to the left, and then there's the front of our garment. So we want to hang up everything, and I would recommend hanging it by category. So, you know, putting your dresses in one section and your bottoms in a section. It's just easier when you go to enter your items. The next thing I want to note is that the way that we present our clothes when people are shopping. So we want to make sure that as it's like a question mark and then the shopper is seeing the front of the clothes. And then they go to the next thing and they see the front of the pants. We don't want things hung like this. Um, this is not going to show the shopper what the pants look like. So we're going to probably at drop off ask you to move it like this or just do it before you come. So look like this and then you can see the front of the piece the next thing is that we want to make sure everything it looks nice and tight so we will um, button here and then we'll also zipper um, same for this it just makes it look a little bit more presentable um, here I would probably run maybe um, a steamer or an iron over the top of this especially with these pockets back here it just helps sell the item a little bit better jackets we want them to be zipped up this would also need a little bit of an iron but we want to make sure that we have our that that's folded over that we you know button up all of these and it will just present a little bit better um, we also sell suits at the sale and for this, it's a two-piece suit with a skirt and a jacket. And what we'd wanna do to keep it together since we're selling it as one piece is to use a rubber band. So we would just rubber band like this and you would just put one price tag on the item and just in there, just note that there is two pieces. We go like that. The other thing I wanna note about two pieces is that, I'm gonna make it look tidy first. Um, is that we want them to be the same size. So if we're selling a two piece and it's one is like an eight and one is a 10, we wanna probably sell those separately. Um, unless they are both a size eight, you would then put them together. Now for things like a sweater, if you don't have a flocked hanger, um, one thing that we do use is this little sticky tape that's very fuzzy and it will, stick right on the plastic piece. We have a few of these. You can buy your own at Source Supply Warehouse or at drop off, you can grab a few, put it on the hanger and it helps keep it on. Especially for something like this that's open, 
Um, it won't stay on quite as easy if you have like, let's say a hanger like this or a hanger like this. So we just want to help you display your items the best so that they sell.